she's currently putting out 120 degree Fahrenheit water and I'm still in somewhat of test mode you like my lid holder there um, haven't figured out a great way to seal this top here I don't have a way to get a metal on metal machine seal I did put a bead of silicone around there um, it's not airtight yet let's take a look at the intake And so I'm really impressed with the performance, um, but I do have some more. That's as long as I dare touch that thing without getting burnt. I do have some more heat I can get out of the stove. Um, just to recap, the air. Sorry, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. It's not cooperating. So the air comes in the stove, and I have it coming in at a almost a 45 degree angle. So it's injecting the air up into the combustible and then the rocket stove pulls the gas back down <clears throat> up the riser tube. And then I put <clears throat> uh, what, what I'm calling a bell tank, I guess, which is just a 10 inch stove pipe. My riser tube is about six inches and it has a coil of half inch copper around it. So the air hot gas comes up and there's a top plate on um, that riser tube and it's a side discharge in a vortex uh, inducing pattern it has some veins on it there's also three small vortex veins in the riser tube um, i had them large but i initially thought it was restricting flow too much i since think it was another issue but i had already cut them back so i didn't put them back in so the hot air comes up hits the top of that uh, riser tube which is about quarter inch steel it jacks out the side and then comes down the bell tank which also has a top on it it's only like 16 gauge steel 14 gauge steel I forget that uh, 10 inch bell tank forces the air down to within about an inch and a half of the bottom and then it comes back up this outer tank which I actually separated in a joint via a joint here to enable me to get this thing taken apart and put together easily and then it goes up the stack so um, this being so hot I can't leave my hand on it means I could probably get another 50 to 100 degrees I haven't shot this with an infrared yet to see how hot it is but um, that's a good problem to have um, to be making hot water and the water coming into the stove right now is about 80 degrees, if I remember right. I looked at the sensor earlier this morning. Um, so, she's working, and I don't know the flow rate for the pump. It's a grown Foss uh, 25th horsepower Brute, and it has three speeds. I've got it on low right now. But, and my reserve tank is 330 gallons. And it's at about um, nine, uh, 97 degrees right now, I think. So, um, I don't have all my sensors reading out. I have it interfaced with this web module where I can look at it on my phone. But eventually I'll have more sensors up here. At least one more sensor to tell me the output temperature of the uh, final stage of the stovepipe. One more time, just because it's so much fun. That's all, folks.